And of course, we start with the defending champions. So we're going to take a look at the Warriors, though, during their five game winning streak, averaging more than 120 points a game and setting the pace as they double their opponents' fast break points per game. Guys, at least 35 assists in three of their last five games. And no huge surprise that they found their rhythm offensively this early in the season, Seku. Yeah, I, I look. This is a Warriors team that I don't think we should have been worried about. I, I know, you know, opening night last year, they got their doors blown off by San Antonio. Everybody freaked out. This is not a team that you take a measure of, you know, toes deep into the season. And I think they've actually gotten into a rhythm quicker than I thought they would. Mm -hmm. You know, in terms of just getting back to the vibe that they've had offensively. Right, because it was a shortened preseason. Yep. It was a shortened off season. They spent some of the preseason over in China, which equaled about 12 or so less practices than they had heading into last season. And you look at Steph Curry, Klay Thompson and KD, they were over in China promoting their brands, doing other things that took them away from the court. But what I was telling people say, Koo, is if you don't take advantage of the Warriors now until they wake up, then you, there's something wrong with you. It's like when a, when a, you know when a, when a champion's down and not in their groove. That's why you got to go in and get as many wins as you can against them, Kristen. Because when they wake up, you're in trouble when you see things of that nature. So the Warriors are on a five-game winning streak. They're getting a first shot at these up-and-coming 76ers. They're also expecting Kevin Durant to return after missing one game due to a thigh injury. What though does he bring back to this lineup as they try and figure out how to do it without him, and then figure out how to do it with him again? No, one I, I, th I think they're fine, Chris. And I think last year they proved it when he first came to the team. I think everybody took a back seat to make sure he felt comfortable. Then when he hurt that knee, uh, say cool on the road in Washington, you saw Steph Curry go. Oh, let me remind everybody. I'm still MVP. Clay Thompson, let me remind you, I'm still one of the best two way players. Draymond, Swiss Army Knights, I'll, I'll do everything for this team. So bringing KD back, they're like, okay, come on, KD. We're going to continue to share the basketball, do what we do. And we like the fact that KD has come back defensive minded, blocking shots, rebounding the basketball at a high level early in the season. They that's are, though, facing a Sixers team that's won five of their last six. Do you think that maybe this could be an early measuring stick for the Sixers? I, th I think every game against an elite team is a measuring stick for the Sixers. I also think every game period is a measuring yes. stick yeah. for, Good call. for guys who haven't played a ton of basketball. People act like Embiid has been around forever. Yes, he hasn't been on the floor forever. Yeah. So every time he's out there, every time Ben Simmons is out there, it's an opportunity for Brett Brown to see what he's working with and to figure out more and more of these combinations he can dial up with this group. I, I think... They go into this, and as he, Joel Embiid loves a good challenge, you know he's going to be amped up and ready to play. That right there was a flawless transition. <laughs> Check this out. All right. Joel Embiid addressed the media regarding his matchup with Warriors, specifically Draymond Green. And as usual, he is not lacking confidence. I saw Draymond this summer, and I told him that I was going to kick his <laughs> so, uh I can't wait to play against him because I feel I love the way he talks trash and I feel like I'm kind of like the same so it's going to be a fun battle especially going against uh, you know uh, Steph play uh, KD I still haven't played against them so I'm, I'm excited. So we can't repeat exactly what he's expecting for his matchup with Draymond Green. But what are you expecting? Uh, I'm expecting match? a good game. But, big fella, be careful what you ask for because <laughs> this team understands how good you are. So, knowing Steve Kerr, they're not going to take this young team lightly. And say, cool, you hit around the head. I'm happy for Brett Brown, who's weathered the storm these last three or four years of all the injuries not having these guys. So, to see the way Ben Simmons is playing, to see the way Joel Embiid is playing, what they're playing like, Wait a minute, this is must-see basketball. Now, those first couple games, they were losing because they had to figure out how to win. And now, to your earlier question is, each game's a measuring stick because they have to figure out who they are as a young team. The real winners in all of this are the, are the fans that are going to be in these arenas watching Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons. We get to see them all the time, and you get an appreciation for what they bring from, from watching these games on TV, on League Pass, or on whatever. But when you see them in the building, in the flesh, that's when it gets real for you, just how big and mobile and, and how skilled Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons are. I, they're a long way from being a true challenger in right. terms of, right. you know, uh, championship-level basketball. 
But the idea that these guys could even challenge for a playoff spot now with so little game experience to me is remarkable. If they can keep this up and sustain this, this there's a lot to like about this Philadelphia 76ers team. And you mentioned Ben Simmons. He's leading all rookies in points, rebounds, and assists. We have all decided that it's way too early to discuss Rookie of the Year honors, <laughs> but it's what we do for a living. <laughs> Guys, are we looking at our Rookie of the Year? Right, well, since you brought it up, Kristen, it, above all the rookies right now, he's head and shoulders standing out, out of all the guys that's stepping up. And and stay with me, stay cool when I say this. He's very similar to Giannis. People say, where are you going with this 3D? Jump shot is suspect, but he lives in the paint. And he's getting left hand, right hand dunk. So everyone keeps saying, work on your jump shot. Work on your jump shot in the summertime. Right, right now in the season, you don't have time to work on your jump shot, stay cool. Stick to Play what you your know. game, stick with what you do, stick with what, why we all fell in love, why you left school early, which is attack the paint, get to the paint, share the basketball, show your athletic ability. Why are you trying to shoot threes to prove us you can shoot threes? The crazy part about this is the number one pick in last year's draft is not even a part of this mix with Philly right now. Yes. You know, Markel Fultz is not – a part of this youth movement that's on the floor and actually playing right now. Ben Simmons is a monster. And, yes, if we're taking a measure of teams, um, you know, I do the MVP ladder every Friday. If we're already ranking that, why wouldn't we rank the rookies? And Ben Simmons has yeah. shot out of the gates. Mm -hmm. You know, this guy, if, he's, if he doesn't end up being a rookie of the year, We've had a major problem, or somebody or else somebody like Fox came on like right, game right, right, right. There's a couple but this guys. This is his to lose. You know, there's a couple guys. You know, Fox a little bit here and there, but each game Ben just keeps getting better and more. Like, wow, did you see that? Yo, say cool. Tell you see what he just did? I'm like, yeah, so I'm watching the game too. So that <laughs> yeah. lets you know that he's already turned that corner for us. He's must-see TV when we're not working. Well, the Sixers have won five of their last six games. They're now six and five overall. We take a look though at the comparison to three seasons prior where they won just two Ooh. of their first 11 games last season and none of their first 11 <laughs> any time before that. That like once again, oh. Brett Brown, let's get Brett Brown in. Let's get Brett, hey, let's get Brett Brown in hand to hang in there. Come on, are you telling me what? Brett Brown's actually going to the to those meetings like, hey, come on, we actually can draw What's something up. Hey, let's go to the big fell down low. Yeah. Let's do the one five. Think about it, Ben Simmons and Jordan B pick and roll. If you, if you trap it, he makes the right pass. You get an easy layup. They're swinging to the weak side of the floor, getting wide open jump shots with Covington and, and Reddick. So it's like now, to your point earlier, for a young team, when do they figure out how do we continue to play together and down the stretch get those close wins? Well, we always say a young team finds a way to lose. Nights like this are, are perfect for this group because they're going to be on that stage against the best of the best. Like, you can talk about wanting to play at that level and competing at that highest level. Mm -hmm. When you get out there on the floor with Draymond, you've been talking to him yeah. in the summer, yeah. now you got to deal with him. Yeah. Now you got to deal with Clay getting yeah. hot. Yeah. Now you got to deal with Steph backing up, you know, the back 29 feet. Yeah, screens, I mean, yeah. all of these things that, that you've been watching if you're Philadelphia. If you're Ben Simmons, you were watching them from your apartment or your, your dorm room. Right. Mm -hmm. if, you're Lim, if Joel Embiid, you were watching from the sideline. Right. Now you get to be out there under the lights in that electric atmosphere. We'll see how you respond. We're going to see if you can live up to your chatter. I love Joel Embiid's attitude, his bravado, mm -hmm. but I love even more that he goes out and plays up to it. Right. Every time he talks, he goes out there and backs it up with his play.